And what else can I tell you about chickens? <laughs> You can tell that this bird's in laying condition because of she's got a bright red comb, which means that she's producing the hormones that are necessary for egg production. And the egg has to pass through the pelvic girdle. And there are two bones there and there. And I can get almost three fingers between them which shows that the bird is in laying condition. Before the bird becomes mature, these bones are only that amount apart. And then as the bird reaches maturity, they begin to go further and further apart. Yeah, they've got an, an ear. It's called the ear lobe, this red piece here. And the ear is just in front of it, but there's no external lobe like we have. That little group of feathers there is protecting the ear. That's where the ear is. That little nipple there between my fingers is an oil gland. That's the uropygeal gland. That every day the bird manipulates that and gets oil on its beak and then preens itself and that waterproofs the feathers. But the oil goes stale. So the hen, uh, every couple of days, dust bathes. And uh, hens don't bathe in water, they bathe in dust. And it acts like a sort of dry shampoo that the old stale oil adheres to the particles of dust and it, they, they lie down and uh, gets the dust all incorporated and then gives a huge feather ruffle and shake and gets rid of all the dust and that takes the stale oil with it. And then it has to start again and manipulate this little gland here and spread oil on its feathers. <laughs>